Hi everyone, this is Haluk Kuzulay uh, from TIC and I'm very pleased to be here and thank to TechnoBiz organization. Uh, today I'm going to share my insights about uh, recent uh, developments in Thai industry. Uh, of course, I will share my insights uh, and the recommendations to be uh, done for Thai manufacturers. Uh, the my contents items are listed here. I would like to start with the TIC introduction and then I will share a very brief overview and main technical challenges that we have seen in Thai industry recently. Uh, again, today I would like to uh, briefly explain no more triangle approach and uh, finally technical topics uh, to be involved by Thai manufacturers. Uh, as I said before, the TIC is a, a Thai industry consulting company and we have three pillars. Uh, of course, first, uh, first uh, main working area is consultancy uh, dedicated to Thai industry. We have uh, several uh, activities on that uh, pillar and I will explain in detail uh, next page. Our second uh, area is the training. When I say training, I mean the, we have special training programs dedicated for Thai industry and the tailor-made uh, programs uh, for uh, Thai manufacturers and uh, Thai engineering. Uh, the final uh, area is the project management that we do sometimes advisory roles and controlling uh, execution as, as well as reporting. Um, TIC is a technology and service provider established in uh, 2018 and we guarantee high standard of professional ethical principles. Uh, those items are the main area we work. The, as you see, our main activities about the tire design, tire development, engineering, uh, as well as R&D systems. We do also have capability to support tire manufacturers about uh, virtual technologies, uh, testing uh, and material development, as well as process and product improvement. One of the important area is also field engineering, especially for TBR and AGR. Thai group, we have uh, well-organized uh, field engineering activities. The TIC is a kind of uh, organization. Uh, our subject matter experts uh, has the hands-on experiences in their field. Uh, as a brief overview of Thai industry, uh, I can say that the, the automotive industry is automotive society is changing very uh, fast uh, due to uh, middle class growth rate is high in the world, new customer trends as well as new mobility concepts. So those market changes are affected by the automotive society. Of course, Thai industry is a part of automotive industry. So that means something happened in automotive industry also affects the Thai industry. In that respect, I can easily say that the tire performance uh, items or requirements from the tire are getting higher and higher every day. This is uh, our new normal and the tire engineering or tire industry uh, activities is getting very complex. Uh, this kind of uh, technical and non-technical challenges affects our activities and then there is a very high dynamic competition in tire industry. In that respect, the tire technology, tire knowledge, as well as the capability uh, in R&D are extremely important to work uh, under this severe condition. Uh, the STIC, we have uh, subject matter experts who has hands-on experiences and ready to support your activities. We provide 
innovative and specialized technical solutions for your technical challenges. Uh, as I said, uh, the, we have many technical challenges in Thai industry. You may see here some of the topics uh, that you know very well. Uh, there are some topics that we have been working on it several years, like durability, uh, weight reduction, rolling resistance, noise, something like that. On the other hand, we have new items like Edmunds material, uh, new modeling capabilities, as well as predictive technologies, and new materials like biomaterials, uh, and also sustainability is very popular now in our industry. So that's all uh, needs to be um, optimized regarding the, our activities. So that means R&D activities or technical activities are getting very complex. So in that respect, you need to have very high level, very clear strategy to uh, continue your activities. Uh, as we all know that in the past, we were working the, with the triangle that we call it sometimes magic triangle that we consider uh, where rolling resistance and the wet type of things for the passenger car tires. But now we do not work any more triangle. So we say no more triangle. Uh, now we have uh, a kind of complex structure that we can call it octagon. So regardless of the tires are much greater than the past. For the future, we don't know the shape. Maybe it would be more complex by getting new technologies and new requirements from the market. So in that respect, as TIC, we, all, we do always say that they please do not work with triangle anymore. Think about to work with the octagon. More detailed, you can see here that the uh, actually, we have a very big transformation uh, from triangle to octagon. Now, in our market, uh, what uh, customer needs is a sustainable green product with desired performance. So, whenever we have new product now, it would be uh, green and the sustainable product with the desired performance. Not only one or two items, but all parameters must be uh, optimized or improved uh, and considered during the development time. In order to uh, meet uh, such a, a high level target, we need, we need to have uh, new advanced modeling uh, activities, new test, testing methodologies, and then they also new materials. So in that respect, as Thai industry, uh, we need to improve or enhance our product development uh, activities uh, even harder in the future uh, by expanding R&D efforts. So at the end of the day, you need to organize your R&D activities, R&D investments in order to reach that desired performance for your product. So that's why we say no more triangle. Please work with the uh, new shape and then the aim to reach the desired performance. Um, this is very basic page that I would like to share with you. Now we have advanced mobility ecosystem. I can call it like that. Due to uh, global growth and demographic changes, as well as customer expectation changes and with new technologies. Uh, now we do have uh, much complex structure in our industry by having uh, new environmental uh, regulations, new technical developments like sensors, GPS, new vehicles, electrical, gas vehicles, autonomous vehicles. And then we have new topic is sustainable solution. So under this very uh, complex uh, system, the question is how we can continue our activities? What would be done uh, to survive? So the answer is very clear. We need to deliver innovative, high quality products to our customer. 
It's very, very clear now. And then the question becomes, how to do that? What kind of actions we should do in order to reach such a uh, result? So in that respect, the, of course, the one of the solution is to increase R&D activities. Increase R&D activities means regarding investment point of view, in, uh, regarding uh, people side and knowledge management, everything uh, would be uh, elements of the R&D activities. Here, I just uh, would like to share several uh, technical challenges uh, with high level strategy. Uh, and today I am just going to explain four of them in detail uh, and uh, give my insights and recommendations to you. Uh, you see, we have air free tires, we have EV tires, we have new materials, we have new uh, tighter regulations and then of course we have new developments like virtual technology, dynamic testing as well as new data management systems as well as uh, new techniques. Uh, those, those topics uh, definitely will force us uh, the fundamental changes and our industry uh, is going to be more complex. In that respect, uh, we should understand that all, all those area will affect uh, market dynamics uh, and breakthrough developments and mobility revolutions. So now uh, everything is uh, getting uh, difficult and difficult to uh, provide the right product to right service with the right uh, time as well as cost. As I said, uh, just today, I will explain four items from that technical area. So the, each time manufacturer uh, should involve or think about the, how to uh, consider those items. The, the first item is air-free tires. The, as we all know, the airless concept is not a new item uh, and doing uh, many tire manufacturers doing some activities. Uh, on this subject, uh, we, there are very good developments considering the last 10 years. However, there are also a lot of work to be done before air free tires to uh, reach to final customer. Uh, if you do work in tire industry, I strongly recommend you to consider how to involve air-free tire technology. Maybe having some licenses or having some uh, in-house activities, something like that, but it's a kind of important item that you should consider for the future. Uh, it's very hard to have the market information about the air-free tires. However, uh, we believe that the annual growth rate would be reached to three to four percent within 10 years globally. That's a very challenging target and then you need to uh, arrange your activities based on uh, this uh, fact. Second item is, uh, is a well-known item that everybody wants, uh, is the sustainable solutions. Uh, this is the one of the most popular uh, topic, as I said before considering the whole, whole automotive industry since many years. And the main target is to uh, reduce the CO2 emission. Uh, we have some drivers and in that respect, the, our motivations are, first one is increasing pressure from the legislation to move to zero uh, CO2. Uh, EV uh, says booming in many countries, that's another fact. And the third fact is consumers are increasingly uh, seeking to buy any product from the company who can participate in environmental activities. So in that respect, the industry is also 
uh, doing some activities. This is just very high level summary. As you see here, uh, top 10 uh, tire manufacturers, they already declared their target by 2030 and 2050, something like that. And uh, the, as you see, the Bridgestone, they say net zero by 2050 and they have uh, interim targets year by year or maybe each 10 years, each five years, something like that. Uh, you see uh, Michelin, Continental, Perlin, Nokian and also Sumitomo have very clear targets. Uh, however, Hancock, Goodyear and Yokohama, they just uh, announce their final target but without any uh, detailed interim targets. Uh, this is um, those companies they control 60% of the market anyway. So we have another 40 part 40% 40 of time manufacturers uh, what they are doing we don't know clearly uh, at the moment. Uh, in that respect when we talk about sustainable solutions we should consider uh, some important uh, items that's here I listed uh, important items to be addressed. The first one is in my mind um, we need to define, we need to the, clearly understand what is sustainable tire. Someone says it's the low mass, someone says tires made from sustainable material or someone says it's about the recycling uh, performance. Uh, so in our industry, it's, uh, it's, it's a kind of discussion item now, how we can define what is sustainable tire. Of course, there are a lot of activities and it will be finally reached to some point. On the other end, second question would be, and or you should consider about it, how to evaluate the sustainability, what kind of metric that we can put. Uh, another item is LCA, life cycle analysis, would be an enough solution or not? We don't know. And now people is trying to uh, investigate more and more. Maybe the final one that's also important, uh, what are the positions of the no commitment companies about the sustainability, which is nearly 30% of the total market? Uh, especially uh, Asian companies, they don't declare their targets and the strategy for the sustainability. So in that respect, uh, we believe that the Thai industry should implement multiple technological in innovation for sustainable solutions by working with the, their suppliers and their uh, partners. So in that respect, uh, TIC can assist you on sustainable solutions. Uh, my third item is today um, EV tires. On the right side that you can see there's a very good development on global electrical car sales. As you see in 2016 is uh, just below 1 million unit uh, and then now Last year it's reached to 6.6 .6 million. So there is a huge increase in EV. Uh, and then the, there is a huge uh, development on that matter. Uh, as we all know that the uh, global automotive sector is also responsible for the uh, green uh, greenhouse uh, gas emission. Uh, and then the target is uh, zero emission by 2050. Uh, this is very, very challenging target for everybody, especially for Europe and the other uh, continents. Uh, I just tried to put some figures about uh, Europe, uh, the, maybe the most important market is Germany. Uh, Germany, they aim to have 14 million electric cars within uh, 10 years uh, in 2030. 
and then it would be 30% market share in that time uh, as a new car sales. Uh, based on that one, we can clearly see that uh, there is a big opportunity for everyone to serve EV. Uh, that's, that's why tire manufacturers should involve this activity in order to serve their OEM as well as replacement market. In that respect, the, we should continue to improve new product development activities and uh, we should spend uh, more capital about uh, R&D investments and the R&D efforts. But this is the, my recommendation. Uh, for EV, EV tires, the <laughs> important items uh, to be addressed is listed here. The first one is how do electric vehicles modify the tire performance requirement? We know that the car is getting heavier and heavier and we need to have more torque at acceleration. So in that respect, we have some new performance requirements like better uh, wear and more grip uh, performance as well as tear. And we don't know what would be a uh, irregular wear performance yet and another question in my mind is really do we need rolling resistance in the future more and more so those questions to be addressed uh, during the strategy stage and during the uh, planning activities planning uh, period um, maybe the another important point is the <laughs> what does it mean in terms of compound properties, what EV uh, tires uh, would have uh, about the compound properties, what are the trade-off items, as we do always uh, trade-off during the tire performance evaluation and product development activities. Uh, so the, for EV, we need to clearly define the trade-off items and then to find a way how to test, how to analyze that performance before going to uh, market and before going to final uh, stage. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of ways to improve these questions and you need to understand and to address what are the other alternative ways. Uh, the STIC, we have a unique approach that we call it Tire Technology Enhancement uh, dedicated to EV uh, product and then we can support your activities. The, my final topic is about uh, dynamic testing. As we all know, uh, we have uh, been performed many many different tire testing during the product development and mass production stage um, testing is um, heavily uh, getting complex and complex in the past we have only uh, product type of testing now we have uh, new capabilities by get having the new uh, engineering tools. Uh, for example, we have now driver in the loop type of testing with the simulators, which is very popular now. Uh, driver in the loop, uh, this is new technology and enables us to test and verify next generation activities, next generation tire designs in virtual environment using vehicle uh, digital TVIM. Uh, which replicates the actual vehicle, uh, including uh, driving conditions and driver interactions. Uh, definitely, these new techniques will improve the development process and enhance the new product development activities, uh, create a new opportunities for us. Uh, I'm sure everybody uh, says that the uh, 
uh, right product to right uh, market is a key item. Uh, as TIC, we believe that uh, we need to speed up the market with right solution and innovation. In that respect, we are ready to uh, support your uh, virtual technology items and then to provide the best service to your OEM customers. Uh, I just put a um, brief summary about uh, what kind of testing we have in our industry now. Uh, you see, there are several types of testing, uh, very high level. The first one is the hardware in the loop, that we call it heel. This is very well known methodology, and then I can say that it's a, it's a kind of component level uh, testing and anal analyzing. So you can put your tires with new suspension systems or steering systems together, one or two or three items together, and then to test it, understand the behavior of the tires and the performances. Second category would be, as I said before, driver in the loop, that we call it DIL. As it, this is a new tool, and then you can uh, easily change the uh, service conditions and driving conditions uh, and also the environmental uh, elements. Uh, here we say that the simulations or modeling and virtual techniques are used in a simulator so that you can analyze handling and comfort parameters and all others. Of course, it's a kind of uh, well-developed uh, techniques. The final one that we may say the vehicle in the loop, wheel, uh, here is on the right side you see that the <laughs> our hardware is vehicle now and then uh, this hardware is combined with the different working conditions, different type of the uh, service conditions and provide us uh, information between simulation and the full road testing. Of course, all, all those items or three items would be selected uh, wisely since it's a very expensive and then it's very, very important to uh, have very good planning and strategy on this matter. Um, actually, uh, this is the, my final page as TIC. Uh, we are ready to support your technical challenges, including uh, new items as well as tire engineering. You may reach to me by email or by just we are located in Germany and easy to uh, share our insights and recommendations uh, with you. And I would like to thank all of you for listening. And then I would like to thank Technobiz organization for this, uh, for this opportunity and uh, hope to meet again in person somewhere else in the world. Bye-bye then.